Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What we're going to be talking about today is three amazing JavaScript projects that you should build if you're learning how to code, right? So I've always said, and on my channel, I'm always saying that building projects is the best way to learn how to code, right? Project-based building is an amazing way to apply concepts you've learned and to make sure that you don't, you're not spending too much time just reading tutorials or, you know, reading guides, reading documentation. You actually have to code. It's very important to get your hands dirty, right? You, like, I can't stress this enough. If you're only reading or if you're only doing tutorials, you're not gonna get the same amount of learning as if you're building something yourself and applying the concepts. So building projects is really important and I have three projects for you guys that I think you should build. Uh, they're specifically JavaScript related. This is, this is really meant for beginner coders, right? And these are very simple projects. The whole point of this is, you know, you're not gonna create the next Facebook right now or the next Airbnb. You're not gonna make a super complex app because especially if you're just new, you really just have to get familiar with, you know, making code, pushing code, writing code, um, the whole process of diving into something you don't know, is solving a problem that you don't know really how to solve. And it's very, very good to get comfortable in these kind of situations. And the best way to do that is to just build, build a project, get your hands dirty, and just, you know, see where it goes, right? So a couple of things first, you don't really have to worry about how these projects look, right? It doesn't really matter. Right now, all you want to do is get it working. Even if it's not working perfectly, what you want to do is get them working. And also I would recommend not just copying code. So obviously you can Google and search up solutions if you don't know how to do something. But if you're just copying the code straight up, you're not really learning anything and you're just lying to yourself, right? So it's not really building if you're just copying code. You also want to follow up on concepts that you're kind of iffy about. Let's say you're building a project and there's something to do with arrays and you really don't know how to do it, right? What you're going to want to do is make note of that. And then when you're not actively building the project, you want to follow up on all these little things that you forgot or you don't know well and do some research on them, understand them more so that next time you're working on the project, you'll be able to apply those concepts. Finally, you really want to give yourself a time limit, a deadline for each one of these projects or even all three of them. Uh, I would recommend, you know, taking a week or two to, to build these. And if you just set a clear goal, you'll really push yourself and you will actually complete it instead of just starting it and not finishing it and then forgetting about it, you know what I mean? So set up, set some deadlines and let's get into the list. So the first thing is very simple. You guys have probably seen this as an example of a project to build everywhere you look, right? Simple to do app. So basically there's just a text box. You put something into a text box, then there's a button saying submit or add or whatever you want. And then once you click that, you'll want to take the text in the box and then add it to a list and display that list somewhere on the page, right? This is a super simple thing to build. And what you want to do also is add ways to remove this stuff on the list. So like a delete button, for example, some things that you might not know how to do here is, you know, like how to make something happen when a button is clicked, right? How to take the text from the text box and display it on another part of the website, right? So you really have to think about these kinds of things. And I'm telling you, if you just build this kind of app, you'll be way ahead of so many people that are you know, not building apps and not being active with their learning. So the second project that I'll have you guys build just builds on the first one, right? So once you have the to-do uh, project done, what you wanna build, it would be the next level of that. So kind of like an expense tracker. So what you can do is basically have the same kind of idea where there's text boxes, but instead of just one, there's multiple. So you're gonna have the date, the name of the transaction and the price used. And when you add that, it's gonna display it on your list, right? So it's basically the to-do list app just with a bit of a twist, and you're also gonna to want to be able to delete um, expenses as well. And the third project builds on the second one. So the third project is a note-taking app. What you wanna be able to do is write a note, add it to a list, and then display that list, right? But the list is gonna display the part of the note, and if you want to see the entire note, you're gonna to wanna to click on it or click on a button that says view whole note or whatever it is, and then display that in a modal, which is just like a pop-up. So if you can do that, then I think you would be in such a good spot in terms of your understanding would be way better. And these projects aren't going to really, you know, change the world or be the next Facebook, right? But they will get the ball rolling for you in terms of, you know, building more complex projects. These small projects are going to make you a lot more comfortable when you're working with something really complex. You're already going to have the feeling of not knowing what to do. It's inevitably going to happen where you just have no idea what to do and you're just on the internet searching things up. If you get used to that, if you get comfortable with that feeling, then you're probably gonna be a good software engineer. Right, so guys, again, these don't have to be fancy. Don't really worry about what they look like. It's not gonna be like the next million dollar business. So don't worry about that. Just worry about getting it to work. And then once you're done these projects, guys, think of some more, you know, find some more projects you wanna work on and constantly be applying this, the knowledge that you're learning through courses or through reading materials, through documentation. Reading is not enough. Passive learning is not enough. You really wanna be active and you wanna build projects, okay? So guys, I hope you take this information to heart. 
Uh, comment down below if you guys have any other project ideas that you would recommend or that you've built in the past. And as always, if you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. It makes a world of difference to me. Don't forget, guys, enjoy your coding. Take it easy.